intents and purposes, Donkey Kong Jr. is Donkey Kong 2 in spite of the title. There was an actual Donkey Kong 2 on Game & Watch, but it was a quasi-sequel based on this game. After saving Pauline in the last game, Mario locked Donkey Kong in a cage. Yeah, Mario wasn't just a carpenter when he first started out, he was also an animal abuser. And to make things darker, DK was his pet gorilla at that point. Think about that for a second. As Donkey Kong Jr., you have to rescue your dad. You use fruit to crush enemies, and climb vines in order to reach the top of the level. Grabbing onto two vines allows you to scale faster. You reach DK's cage, Mario takes him away, and you go to the next level. On stage 4, you must push keys to the top of the level to open the cage. Once it's unlocked, we see pre-Smash Brothers Mario Ponage. And yet I'll take Cranky's kick over Eco Terrorist parodies any day. The game, like its predecessor, received ports on all the major home consoles. Sometimes I like to think that Nintendo punished Mario for all the animal abuse because he was replaced in Donkey Kong 3. Yeah, the star of that game was a completely different character called Stanley the Bugman. He fought off bees and sprayed bug repellent up DK's butt. The game wasn't as popular as its predecessors. After that game, Donkey Kong languished in relative obscurity, referenced mostly in cartoons like Saturday Supercade and Captain N. He eventually made a big comeback in 1994, but that's for later. Between Donkey Kong 3 and the mid-90s revival, there will be one more game. Donkey Kong Jr. Math. Yeah, math. This will not be the only education thing to be seen on the show. The rest are for later.